Welcome to Superhero Stories. I am your host, Captain EJ. Today, we'll be exploring the world of Spider-Man. All you have to do is close your eyes, get cozy, and listen to the sound of my voice. Captain EJ will be your guide. This story is brought to you by my friend, Mrs. Honeybee. Let's begin. You are walking through the grass toward Spider-Man, who you see across the way. It's a nice sunny day that you will spend with Spider-Man. As you walk, right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot. Take a slow, deep breath in through your nose. Feel the cool air coming in through your nose and filling your lungs. Then breathe out through your mouth as you come upon Spider-Man, who is sitting cross-legged in the grass. He is focusing intently on something in front of him and doesn't see you beside him at first. You tap him on the shoulder and it startles him because he was so focused. He looks up to see you and says hi with a big smile. You get here just in time, he says. He pats the grass next to him for you to sit down. When you sit down beside him and get a closer look, you can see that he is making a very intricate web from the web launchers on his wrists. There is one big circle with smaller and smaller circles inside of it. Between the circles, he creates more shapes with tiny knots. He's working so quickly that it seems like he's racing. Spider-Man continues working on his intricate web and you realize that there is another web right next to his. But this one has a friendly brown spider working just as quickly as Spider-Man. They are in a web weaving contest to see who can weave the most intricate web. They are almost done weaving when a gentle breeze blows through the webs, floating them up and then back down. Take another breath in through your nose and out through their mouth as they finish their race. Spider-Man puts his hands up and says, done. The competing spider puts four of her eight legs up to say she's done too. Take a look at both of the webs because you get to decide who wins. Focus on the webs to compare them. First, look over Spider-Man's, which is smaller than the spider's, but with incredible shapes between the circles. Then, look at the spider's. They are both silky to the gentle touch. On the count of three, Tell Spider-Man and his spider friend who is the winner. One, two, three. The winner rejoices in their victory. Spider-Man looks at you and says, Do you want to try? Of course you would. He is happy you said that because he thinks you'll be an excellent web weaver. Spider-Man rummages through his red and blue backpack and pulls out a web launcher for your wrist that is just like his. Take the web launcher from him and secure it to the inside of your wrist. Spider-Man demonstrates how to use it with the special Spider-Man hand formation. Two outside fingers and your thumb out straight, and the two inside fingers bent back toward you. Spider-Man says you're doing great practicing. Now to web launch. Take a slow, deep breath in through your nose and ready your hand with the web launcher in the proper form. When you breathe out through your mouth and see a long string of webs launch out of your wrists. Without any aim, it attaches to a nearby tree, then onto the grass, and then accidentally catches a dog playing frisbee with its owner. Whoops! Spider-Man rushes over to free the dog then throws the frisbee far away between the trees in the distance. That gives Spider-Man an idea. He's smiling when he gets back to you because he knows just what to do on this fun afternoon. Spider-Man says he wants to challenge you to a web weaving competition. There is an empty spot across the way that has a group of four trees, two pairs that are across from each other. Walk with Spider-Man over to the trees through the grass right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot. The trees are tall with enough leaves to provide shade from the hot sun. 
You stand between one pair of trees and Spider-Man between the trees opposite to you. Take a slow, deep breath in through your nose and ready your web launcher on your wrist. Then breathe out through your mouth and launch your web to begin the competition. Spider-Man starts with a little circle and creates bigger and bigger circles around it. He keeps making it bigger and bigger with more and more circles, so you do too. Your webs are almost as tall as the tree trunks. Take another breath in through your nose and out through your mouth as you continue building your big web. Then Spider-Man calls time and the competition is done. He walks over to your web, admiring all the details that shine when the rays of sunshine make it through the treetops. Without even comparing the webs, he says you definitely won, without a doubt. Great job. Now, Spider-Man says, there's only one thing left to do. He turns around and runs as fast as he can toward his web, then jumps into it like a bouncy trampoline. It catches him and is so strong that it stretches back like a slingshot, then shoots him to your web, which catches him and shoots him back. Spider-Man flips in the air, then lands on his feet. Bouncing on web trampolines is his favorite thing to do. Your turn. Take a slow, deep breath in through your nose, then run and jump into Spider-Man's web, which catches you. Then breathe out through your mouth as it launches you from one web to another like sideways trampolines. Your web catches you next, and the force of your bounce stretches it back, but it doesn't break it because you made it so strong. Each time you fly through the air, you can do flips, or spin, or pose. Then you land on your feet before you get dizzy. You and Spider-Man spend the rest of the afternoon bouncing on the web trampolines, having so much fun. Today, we'll be exploring the world of Spider-Man. Let's begin. You whistle as you happily march towards Spider-Man's house. You're excited as you walk to your superhero friend's house and feel the wind on your face. Spider-Man just called to let you know that he had a very special surprise waiting for you. You can't wait to find out what it is. When you arrive, the very first thing you notice is that Spider-Man is wearing a brand new Spidey suit. You can hardly believe your eyes. This new suit is bright red and bright blue with a big black spider sewn into the back. It looks really cool. What do you think? asks Spider-Man. I just got this new Spidey suit and I wanted to show it to you first. You take a deep breath in through your nose and breathe out through your mouth and give Spidey two big thumbs up. Spider-Man looks awesome. You feel so lucky that you're the first friend that Spider-Man wanted to show his flashy new suit to. Spider-Man laughs. Wait a second, you didn't think this was your big surprise, did you? You can't help but gasp. There's more? Just you wait, says Spider-Man eagerly. Spider-Man turns to pick a box off a nearby shelf. He hands it to you and grins excitedly. Open it, he urges. What kind of present could Spider-Man have gotten you? Take another deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. The box is light and easy to hold. The sides of the box are smooth against your fingers. When you give it a curious shake, you hear something rustling faintly inside. Spider-Man laughs and yells, open it. You eagerly tug open the box and then fish through some crinkly tissue paper. You dig deeper and deeper into the box until you pull out a second Spidey suit. It looks just like the one Spider-Man is wearing now. You're so shocked that you dropped the box and the Spidey suit. That's right, laughed Spider-Man. I got a second new Spidey suit. I haven't been able to test the suits out yet. I was hoping you'd help me. Can you put on this Spidey suit and sling around town? You can hardly believe your ears. Spider-Man wants you to put on a brand new Spider-Man suit and test it out for him. 
You nod happily. You're so excited that you can't even speak. All right, Chair Spider-Man. I have a superhero meeting in a few minutes, so I'm going to head there. I'll meet up with you a little later. Have fun. You wave goodbye to Spider-Man and then put on the Spidey suit. It fits like a glove. You hold out your hands and inspect them curiously. There are two small devices in the palms that will shoot webs. You cautiously walk over to the mirror to see how you look. Wow, you look exactly like Spider-Man. Now it's time to explore the city. You climb up onto the windowsill and look around. You're pretty high up. Below you, people walk up and down the sidewalk. They don't notice you way up here. Cars zoom down the street and horns honk. There was so much activity going on below. With one more deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth, you lift one hand and point it towards a nearby building. You flick out your wrist just like you'd seen Spider-Man do before, and a web shoots out. Before you can even blink, the web glues to the side of the building. It's now or never. You gulp and leap out of the window. Soon, you're soaring through the city. Wind breezes across your face as you cast web after web in front of you. This might be the first time you've worn a Spidey suit, but you're a natural. Slinging from building to building is so much fun. You have the time of your life swinging your way across the city. When the sun starts to go down, you know you should probably head back to Spider-Man's house. He'll need the suit back soon. Just as you turn around, you notice a strange cloud of smoke drifting up from the big bridge nearby. What could that be? You sling a little closer to check it out. You can hear horns honking loudly and you can see lights flashing. Wait, is that the sound of people shouting for help? Your stomach turns nervously. That bridge is the main one in town. Tons of people use it every day. If there is trouble on that bridge, it's a big deal. When you get closer to the bridge, you see that something is terribly wrong. Dr. Octopus is terrorizing the people on the bridge. Using the powerful metal arms on his back, Doc Ock is trying to rip the support beams out from under the bridge. The people on the bridge won't be able to escape before it falls. You look around, but there's no sign of Spider-Man. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. It's up to you to save the day. You're very nervous, but at least you have this amazing Spidey suit. Spider-Man, growls Dr. Octopus when you swing closer. He pauses and frowns. Wait, you're not Spider-Man. The bad guy begins to laugh. His metal arms still pull at the bridge's beams. Doc Ock looks at you and yells, There's no way someone like you could stop an evil villain like me. Run away while you still can. Your pulse is pounding and your knees are shaking but you're not about to run away. The people on the bridge need you. You might not be Spider-Man, but you can still save the people. You flick out both of your hands, unleashing as much of the suit's webs as you can. The strong webs wrap around Doc Ock, pinning him and his metal tentacles against the support beams of the bridge. The webs also wrap around the beams. You shoot him again with web and again and again. He's becoming overwhelmed by your webs and is pinned to the ground. That will keep the bridge safe until the people can escape. Dr. Octopus struggles against your webs, but they're stronger than he is. You did it. You stopped Dr. Octopus. How could you manage to stop me, wails Dr. Octopus? Because my friend here is a superhero just like me, Spider-Man calls suddenly. Spider-Man swings down to your side and grins at you. Whew, I'm sorry I'm late, but you handled this perfectly. Dr. Octopus didn't stand a chance. How about we go slinging around town together to celebrate? You happily nod. You can't think of a better way to celebrate beating Doc Ock than web slinging with Spider-Man. Today, we'll be exploring the world of Spider-Man.
let's begin. It's nighttime, and outside, it's quiet. Your bedroom is still, and you are getting ready for bed. You're gazing down from your bedroom window in New York City when a big shadow flies over your head. What was that? You gasp and look up, spotting Spider-Man swinging from building to building with his webs. You squint through the sun, trying to keep an eye on the superhero, but he's way up near the tops of the skyscrapers. Crash, boom, bang. The big sound is very loud. What could have caused something like that? On the street below you, a few people start shouting and pointing. When you look to where they are pointing, you see trouble. You can see Dr. Octopus throwing around cars using the big metal limbs on his back. His metal arms glisten in the bright sun. Oh no, the evil villain is causing trouble again. Suddenly, the shadow flies over your head again. Then, Spider-Man appears. He's hanging upside down in your window and smiling at you from behind his mask. I've heard you're a secret superhero, he says. Will you help me defeat Dr. Octopus? You nod and start to run toward your door, but Spider-Man calls, wait. When you turn back around, he pushes open your window and gestures you back over. How about you sling some webs with me, he offers. I'll swing you around the city. You can't help but gasp. It sounds awesome to be able to swing from Spider-Man's super webs. First, you've got to put together your superhero costume. You run to your drawer and grab out two bright blue socks. Then, you run under your bed and grab your blue t-shirt. And oh, that's right, you have a blue tie in your closet. That'll make the perfect headpiece. You tie the tie around your head like a headband and look in the mirror. You're ready to go. Spider-Man takes a look at you and says, Hmm, I think something is missing. He gestures toward the bathroom and you see what he means. You need a cape. You run into your bathroom and grab the red towel and tie it around your neck. You zoom back to Spider-Man and he gives you a thumbs up. Looks amazing, he says. Spider-Man grabs you when you leap up next to him, and you two begin to swing toward the highway. The air rushes past your face, blowing your hair off your forehead. Everything looks so tiny from way up here. The people on the road are no bigger than ants. When you two get close to the highway, Spider-Man carefully drops to the ground and sets you beside him. Smoke is rising up from some of the damaged cars on the street. We'll need a car to get closer to Dr. Octopus, says Spider-Man. Here, borrow mine, calls a person from nearby. You've got to save New York City. Thank you, Spider-Man says before looking back at you. Ready to ride? You nod eagerly. Both of you hop into the car and Spider-Man takes off. The windows are down and the air rushing inside of the car reminds you of how it felt to swing from Spider-Man's webs. You're driving as fast as you can, swerving to avoid everything in your way. The brakes squeal as the car stops in front of Dr. Octopus. Let's do this, says Spider-Man. You two rush out of the car. You jump up and down, waving your arms to distract the evildoer. Oh no, shouts Dr. Octopus when he sees you. He's heard all about your superpowers. Before he can move, Spider-Man shoots Dr. Octopus with his webs. Dr. Octopus is so tangled up, he can't move. He falls to the ground. His days of evil are over. The mayor of the city and the people all around are cheering. You did it. You saved us. Spider-Man gives you a big high five. Thanks for your help. Our city is much safer with you around. Today, we'll be exploring the world of Spider-Man.
let's begin. The bowling alley is packed tonight. You hear the thud of bowling balls hitting the wooden alleys and the clatter of pins falling. The sounds come together like a song. Your bowling ball is smooth and heavy in your hand as you swing it carefully toward the alley. You let go of the ball and hold your breath. The bowling ball glides down the alley until it smacks into the white pins. The pins go flying. You got a strike. You jump up and down to celebrate just as someone taps you on your shoulder. Behind you stands a teenage boy, but you didn't think you've ever met him before. Who could it be? When you frown at him, he edges a little closer and flashes a grin. You don't recognize me? I'm Peter, he whispers. Peter Parker? You gasp in surprise. That's Spider-Man. He's just wearing his regular clothes right now. But why is Peter Parker here at the bowling alley? Maybe he wants some pointers on bowling a strike? Before you can give Peter Parker some bowling tips, he pulls you toward the side of the bowling alley. Listen, he says. He's still speaking very quietly. I hope your arms aren't too tired from bowling because the Green Goblin is on his way here right now. You have to help me beat him before he can hurt anyone. This time, it's your turn to grin. You're always ready to show a bad guy who's boss. You nod eagerly and Peter sighs with relief. Thank goodness, Peter says. I knew I could count on you. I'll jump into my Spidey suit and head to the front of the bowling alley. You sneak around back. We'll work together to take the Green Goblin down. You give a big thumbs up. You and Peter both take off in different directions. Peter Parker disappears, but you spot a familiar superhero in a red suit hiding way up high. He's used his webs to sneak up into the ceiling of the bowling alley. Suddenly, the door of the bowling alley flies open. The Green Goblin is here. The evil villain stands on his goblin glider and flies around the alley. People cry out and dive under tables and chairs. The Green Goblin throws around pumpkin bombs that burst. Drinks are spilling and things in the bowling alley are getting destroyed. The sound is sharp and loud and hurts your ears, but you keep an eye on them. You've got to distract the Green Goblin so Spider-Man can attack. You look around, trying to make a plan. Take a deep breath in through your nose, then out through your mouth. How can you distract the Green Goblin? Then a shiny bowling ball catches your eye. That's perfect. You crouch down and rush toward the rack of bowling balls. You grab hold of the most shiny ball and hold it tight. You swing your arms back just like you did when you knocked down all those pins, and then you let the ball fly. The ball leaves your fingers and soars through the air over lane one, lane two, lane three, lane four, and then hits the Green Goblin right in the belly. The Green Goblin flies off his Goblin Glider with a grunt and knocks him into the corner. This gives Spider-Man a chance to come to the rescue. Spider-Man swings in from the ceiling using his web and slings it at the Green Goblin. Sluggish from being knocked over, the Green Goblin is no match for Spidey's webs. The Green Goblin is so wrapped up in the webs that he can't move. As everyone climbs out from under the tables and sees that the coast is clear, Spider-Man swings over to you and grins happily. You've saved the bowling alley, he says. I wouldn't want to go up against you in bowling or in a fight, he laughs. I'll take care of this bad guy now. Later, you're going to have to teach me some of your moves. With that, Spidey swings over toward the Green Goblin and drags him outside of the bowling alley. Everyone inside claps for you, knowing that you helped to save the day. Today, we'll be exploring the world of Spider-Man. Let's begin. You are here on the cross streets where Spider-Man said he would pick you up. You look up to the sign to check the names against your watch. He said he'd be here by now, but traffic is bumper to bumper. The sound of the busy city fills the air, but the sun shining down on you makes you forget all of it for a moment. Take a slow, deep breath in through your nose and let your mind take you to a beachfront paradise instead. Then slowly breathe out through your mouth and look down the block at the line of cars stopped in all directions. They honk angrily at each other while you wait. You stand as close as you can to the street, 
balancing carefully as you walk along the curb. Right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot. You make sure to be as visible as possible so Spider-Man doesn't miss you. Look down the other street as far as you can. The sunshine gleams off the windows of the cars and reflects in your eyes, so you shade them with your hand. Just then, something rushes from the other side, grabs the hand that shaded your eyes and lifts you effortlessly into the air. It's Spider-Man, and he literally picked you up, swinging by his web. Traffic never bothered him much. You feel light as a feather gliding through the sky above all the cars below, stopped in place, honking. People in the office buildings look out the window to marvel at you and Spider-Man swinging across the city by web. You can see the astonished looks on their faces as you zoom by. The air rushes against your cheeks and you're flying so quickly that you close your eyes instead of watching as building after building goes by. Before you know it, Spider-Man lands on one of the tallest buildings in the city. Your feet are gently delivered to the concrete rooftop and Spider-Man hops down along with you. He rolls his mask up over his face and gives you a big hug hello. You laugh because you were expecting him to pick you up in a car, but he doesn't know why you have expected that. Traveling by web is way more fun. Speaking of fun, he already defeated one villain today, so he has the whole rest of the day to dedicate to having fun. He looks up over the city with his arms outspread and asks what you would like to do. From here, you can see everything that the city has to offer. Narrow your eyes and scan the cityscape from side to side, looking at all the fun things there are to do. That's when you see a fair all the way across the city and you see that it has a Ferris wheel. You point it out and immediately Spider-Man pulls down his mask, launches his web, and you're off swinging through the city once again. Take another slow, deep breath in through your nose as the rush of fresh air breezes against your face. Then slowly breathe out as you land feet first at the entrance to the fair. You and Spider-Man play all the games, eat cotton candy, and go on each of the rides. Together, you have all the fun Spider-Man needs to have after a long day of defeating villains. He forgets all about that as you laugh and win stuffed animals. Spider-Man carries around a big blue bear that he is very proud to have won. You two cannot go to the fair without going on the Ferris wheel. So you, Spider-Man, and the blue stuffed bear hop onto the Ferris wheel that tilts as you step up and sit down. You travel all the way to the top where you get another spectacular view of the city. That's when you see a boat leaving the harbor on its way to a paradise cruise. The Ferris wheel stops at the top and your compartment swings back and forth while people at the bottom get off of the ride. You point the boat out to Spider-Man and say that a cruise sounds like it would be fun but instead of launching you instantly there, he gives you his web launcher. Now it's your turn to swing across the city. You take the web launcher into your hands and attach it onto your wrist. Take a slow, deep breath in through your nose and activate the web to launch all the way to the boat. Then slowly breathe out through your mouth and swing by the web with Spider-Man flying through the clear blue sky. You look back to see the stuffed bear going back down on the ferris wheel alone. You know someone will find it and their day will be made. You look forward again just in time to land on the top deck of the boat. Now you're setting out on a cruise without a care in the world. Standing against the railing, the salty waves crash against the boat and form a cool mist that is so refreshing. You and Spider-Man relax and enjoy the boat ride until you arrive at the sandy shore of paradise. Spider-Man notices a row of surfboards and says that he's always wanted to learn how to surf. You agree, and you both run up to grab one, then hit the waves. Spider-Man struggles to stay up and tries to use his web launcher on the water, but the web is no match for the ocean. Together, you try wave after wave. You're able to stand up a few times, but the waves are so strong that you splash into the water and float back to shore. Then Spider-Man has an idea. You both swim out to catch the next wave. Then, when you stand up, he launches the web toward your outstretched hand. Now you and Spider-Man use the web to stabilize yourselves and you successfully ride the wave all the way into shore. You did it! 
you and Spider-Man surf until the sun goes down in paradise. That concludes our story. I can't wait to see you again. Captain EJ, over and out. <laughs>